working well for pissed off feelings. Slide down the bones of your cheeks to the front of your cheekbones where they stick out the most. Tap there, that helps clear stomach. Now take one hand tap under your nose and above your upper lip. This helps heal the governing meridian, which is the whole string of meridians that goes over the head, down the back, through your wings, down your spine, and to your tailbone. Underneath here, down to your perineum. Is that okay to do this? Angels can do that. <laughs> okay, under the lips, this is going to heal your governing vessel. No, I'm sorry, your conception vessel. I, this is governing, this is conception. This is the several strings of energy that run down here, down the front of your body, and wrap around to your genitals and hook up to the ones behind you. So from here, we're going to here. Put your hand in a U shape. Find the front of your collarbones. Slip off the collarbones and find that groove in the front of your chest. under your collarbones. Okay, it can be a little tender there for some people too. It's usually about as wide as your hands comfortably sit in this formation. Okay, help you move kidney energy. Don't get too worried about what point does what. If you just overhaul all of them over and over, you'll find the, the one that's got a bug in it. It's really not a big mental process. Don't get too linear about it. It's very simple. I teach this to kindergartners. Tap down to your sternum. Okay, again, that's clearing what? All the energy that runs down the front of you. Tap the front of your rib cage where it sticks out the most in front. So if you cup the bottom of your ribs, you'll feel where your ribs jut out the most in front. And you want to tap those points on the rib cage. Okay. Are those points tender? Yes? That means you've been repressing some anger. <laughs> okay, don't worry, it's not the harder you tap, the faster you heal. <laughs> okay. Now you're gonna tap the side seam of your body right here, right under uh, where your bra line either is or would be if you were wearing one. How you tap with how many fingers you could tap like this and do both at once you tap like this kind of like the monkey tap and we discovered that even you could tap like this <laughs> that's his favorite okay and just anything that's going to bring uh, heat and movement and sound and percussion to that area of the body you can even kind of do light patting or slapping right here across the wristband if you were going to wear a wristband and it was right above your hand, it's going to be that whole line. Use four fingers so you get all these points. There's several points in the wrist. This helps clear the heart and the pericardium. The ones on your ribs were uh, liver, mostly liver points. Okay, side of the thumb. Intestines. At the tip of the thumb on the side. So everyone put your hand like you're going to karate chop something. Tap the top edge of your thumb right up at the tip by the nail. Move down to the same point on your index finger. Middle finger, same point. You've just worked both small and large intestines. Now you're working heart again and genital region. Which is why we use this finger to ask people to quickly go make love to themselves. <laughs> We know that would restore them to balance. <laughs> we have an automatic diagnoser of what the problem is. <laughs> okay. Fourth finger is the opposite side, so lift your hand up towards the roof, towards the peak, and tap the opposite side of your fourth finger. This is the triple warmer point. This helps heal your temperature regulation as well as your relationship to self and others. So anything you perceive to be you're in relationship with or external, internal, me and you, us and them. 
This helps move that energy through your body. Okay, little finger back to the original side, the inside of your pinky finger by your nail. Side of the hand. This helps for stubbornness, self-sabotage, and rebel nature. <laughs> We're all here because we got a lot of this. <laughs> but know that rebellion and stubbornness is the same muscle as persistence. Different goal. Stubborn is when you do something that you deliberately know isn't good for you and you do it anyway, over and over. Persistence is when you deliberately do something that you know is good for you, over and over. Same muscle, you don't have to lose the big fat muscle that you've developed with your stubbornness and your rebellion, just change the goal. You're already heroic in strength. Okay, crown of the head in a circle through the hairline, going around the edge of the hairline, over the ears, behind the head, and then all over the top of the head. And big deep breath, make some sound. <sighs> Sorry, are we supposed to have an intention while we're doing this, um, or is just the tapping out itself enough? The tapping itself is starting the process. And we're going to work all the intentions about the rest of this time. So I'm about to go over that part of it. That's a good question. He's my handler. <laughs> Thank you. Is it just the left hand when you're doing the tapping or do you switch and do both? Um, both hands, you're, you're wired symmetric, symmetrically. So you can do either side. You can switch back and forth as we go. So now you've just learned the basic circuit. Do one full circuit through your body on those processes and now we're just going to go through that circuit over and over. When you tap your thumb it feels an energy of line that runs all the way down to your big toe. Your thumb and your big toe are on the same circuit breaker. Your index finger and your second toe all the way down to your pinky toe and your pinky finger. Okay so you could be tapping on your legs too and you'd be getting some of the same points in your arm. You've got meridians in your teeth Although it's harder to tap on your teeth. You got meridians in your genitals, which is why sexual massage, I'm using the technique that we're gonna go over the mental part of it when you're making love or when you're helping heal a partner of sexual abuse. A lot of us have to like defuse the minefield before we can properly make love. So having someone hold those points while we go through the inner process that I'm about to show you can be very helpful. Gentlemen, pay attention to that. Most of the women that you've ever come in contact with have been sexually abused to some degree for some period of time. Women, 50 to 60% of the men have been also. Be mindful. So we'll use this process to help clear that. It is repairable. None of the damage that you've ever suffered is permanent. Teaching this and sharing it is all I do for work on planet Earth. Thank you. <laughs> yes. You're welcome. Okay. Next, we're going to go over the psychological part, the mental part. It's body, mind, spirit. That was the body part. The mind part goes like this. Ah. Uh. plane. Some version of that. 